very good morning to all the students of class plus 1b i wish you all a happy republic day also as we are going to celebrate 73rd republic day tomorrow so uh, my wishes to you all in advance uh we were reading the chapter birth which is very much related to your would be profession that you are going to be doctor soon within a span of 5 to 7 years so uh this chapter birth is going to teach a lot of things to the doctors to the common man also so theme uh, problems faced by medical practitioners and we should keep our personal and professional life separate we should not intermix this because it will definitely affect both the lives if we will intermix them fine at the same time there are multiple mother other themes also like we have to be positive we have to trust our guts we have to trust ourselves in the in the time of need fine self doubt should not be there we should have faith fine this uh, you know quote also sets apt on the theme freedom in mind and faith in words so you should have faith on yourself and only then you will be able to have pride in your heart after fulfilling your tasks as a doctor as frontline warriors the kind of satisfaction which you get you know money will be there no doubt but the satisfaction cannot be bought with money sukoon jo hai it cannot be bought with money so the kind of satisfaction you will buy that is uh, beyond description so this chapter is going to teach us no matter how difficult your personal life is you have to perform as a doctor and you have to give your best to the patient then after saving the life of the patient how do you feel fine so a doctor goes through a lot of uh, emotions sometimes guilt sometimes remorse or sometimes he's scared how to handle the things fine so a lot of emotions are there in the life of a medical practitioner we easily judge them you know it's very easy to judge someone okay doctor hai acche se nahi kiya kiya hai and all, all that stuff but when we become so it's very difficult for us then clear yeah? so characters mr and mrs morgan fine mr joe morgan and his wife mrs morgan they are expecting their first child and uh, after 20 years of marriage they are going to have the first child and they have been directly waiting for this moment they are so particular about it that mrs morgan has even you know asked his uh, her mother that she would not like to have anesthesia or chloroform means she doesn't want to become unconscious during that labor pain or during the process of the birth because she thinks that it can affect the life of that child so she is ready to take uh, bear the pain but she is not ready to take anesthesia so she is so concerned about the birth similarly father like joe morgan he is also eagerly waiting and it was the uh, night time midnight time when labor pain starts and he uh, searches for dr andrew तो वो डॉक्टर एंड्रयू को बुलाने जाता है उस टाइम पे एंड डॉक्टर एंड्रयू लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस दिस प्रोटेगोनिस्ट डॉक्टर एंड्रयू इज अ यंग पास्ड आउट डॉक्टर हु हैज रिसेंटली कंप्लीटेड हिज स्टडीज एज अ डॉक्टर एंड ही हैज वर्क्ड एज एन असिस्टेंट टू वन ऑफ द प्रोमिनेंट डॉक्टर्स बट ही हैज नॉट वर्क्ड ऑल अलोन सिंस देन फाइन सो ही हैज वर्क्ड एज एन असिस्टेंट बट नॉट एज ही हैज वर्क्ड अंडर डॉक्टर एडवर्ड पेज फाइन so uh, then midwife is there assistant you can say she is already uh, waiting for the doctor in the house of morgans so unhone pehle ek midwife ko bulaya hua hai then mrs morgans mother they have not mentioned mr morgans mother or mrs morgans mother you can even know that morgans mother is sitting there she can be a mother of uh, mr joe morgan or mrs morgan i have written mrs morgans mother fine so uh, these are the characters and we have read so far who will tell me the story kahan tak pahunch gaye the anybody uh where is uh... chali edinur you tell that how far we have reached narrate the story to the students who have joined today only i'm just a minute ma'am we were on page number 67 i think what we have read so far my purpose is not to know the page number my purpose is that you speak and you tell others uh, what was there in the story in brief okay ma'am ma'am joe morgan he went to the he went to dr andrews house to call him as as his wife they were expecting their first child after 20 years of marriage 
then dr andrew he went to their house and he what was had the, a cup what of tea what was the mental condition of the doctor at that time what happened to him in the past when he reached there what was going on in his mind and actually at the time he had a breakup with his with a girl he loved christine yes so he was very disappointed christine christine ko to hum bhool hi gaye so this is passive character though okay you can mute yourself vivnu that's good uh, so we have these characters christine is there actually dr andrew is uh, having bad time of his life he just recently broke up with the girl he loved the most and after that evening he has been muddled head he had been thinking hard he was very sad and when he was coming back and then he you know happened to Uh, be attended by morgan family and at that state of mind when he is personally not happy when he is dejected and depressed and uh, you can say in that mood in which he had to you know uh, he was called by mr joe morgan and when he reached at it was the midnight time and when he enters that uh, small room uh, it was not well lit proper light was even not there Uh, in mrs morgan's room and midwife was sitting by the side of mrs morgan and uh, uh, near about 70 year old lady mrs morgan's mother was also standing there and she was eagerly you know looking at doctor's expression she was scared that doctor might run away because there was time for the birth of the child so she offers the tea to doctor she prepares the tea for the doctor downstairs in the kitchen and while having the tea after having the tea he kept on sitting over there for an hour because there was still time left for the labor pain to be you can say for taking it for taking it the further the process and all so he kept on waiting and while waiting he was having a lot of thoughts in his mind he was thinking about the doctor under whom he has worked as an assistant that how his marriage utterly failed then one of the other person he thought about that how he was uh, in madly in love with the girl and she cheated upon him then he came to the conclusion like uh, like marriages mainly he was like had very bad time of his life but even then christine's thoughts were overpowering you know he was actually giving the kind of satisfaction to himself by thinking that it, it can happen to anyone even my doctor faced this and even somebody or a known in acquaintance that person faced this but then he was you know overpowered with the thinking of christine then suddenly mrs morgan's mother called the doctor fine and he looked at the clock and then midwife from the upstairs called them so it was the time pehle wo beech mein jata hai ek bar again he sees that after having the tea okay one hour more is left again he comes back and starts brooding upon his thoughts and finally at at about 3 am theek hai 12 baje ka wo aaya hua hai wahan pe and at uh, at about midnight and it is 3 am now clear so at at about midnight uh, uh, he had been waiting and now midwife calls so let me share the screen with you all and we will continue yes beta screen is visible to you i have highlighted from where we are supposed to start okay now uh, he uh, they will be all right here the nurse's voice was heard calling from the top landing and you glanced at the clock which now showed half past 3 aap apni books leke baithi hai beta saath mein he rose and went up to the bedroom he perceived that he might now begin his work now beta now the beginning of this uh, process fine right? he perceived when midwife you know the, she was also experienced did she call the doctor it was the time when they had to start the actual work fine right? uh, the process of birth is going you might have seen that movie uh, three idiots fine in which in the last you know the actress is about to give birth to a baby and they that, that was you know that is fiction that is fiction no doubt but you know by by the concept they have presented in that picture is positive one that they have one slogan like all is well you know uh, all is well they were trying to make them themselves positive at that time at need of the hour because when that 
point comes when baby is about to arrive in this world it will not even wait for the doctor's arrival when it has to happen it will happen so they were considering the formula of all is well means let's be positive in this time in this difficult times agar mushkil time kisi pe aata hai agar us time pe hum panic kar jayenge as a doctor you will do more bad to the patient you know Uh, rather than doing good to your patient you can do uh, bad to the patient at that time because your mental condition need to be stable at that time fine the patient needs your 100% attention so that's why you have to be very very positive throughout your this profession you can not think that okay i had a bad day today so that's why you no know, uh so still you are joining so this late some students are joining so So, uh, nurse's voice was heard calling from the top landing, and you glanced at the clock, which now showed half past three. Sare thing bach chuke subeh ke. He rose and went up to the bedroom. He perceived that he might now begin his work. An hour elapsed. It was a long, harsh struggle. Then, as the first streaks of dawn strayed past the broken edges of the blind, the child was born lifeless. The child was born lifeless. Twenty years, Mr. and Mrs. Morgan had been waiting for this moment. After the struggle of one hour in the morning, जब सुबह हो चुकी है and the child was born, but it was lifeless. What a you can say. What will be the condition of the doctor at that time? What will he say to the parents that after twenty years you waited for this moment? and i happen to be the only you know ray of hope for them who is going to rescue them and who is going to serve them and the child is born and it is lifeless how is going to you know inform the father and mother he was so scared at that time now see as he gazed thus at the still form of a shiver of horror passed over andrew you know when he looked at the still form that the baby was still it was not moving uh, it was a you can say dead child was born and he was so shocked and andrew after all that he had promised his face heated with his own exertions chilled suddenly he was already you know heated with exertions he was already tired out of his bad day but suddenly a chill ran through his body he hesitated he was torn between his desire to attempt to resuscitate the child and his obligation towards the mother who was herself in a desperate state the dilemma was so urgent he did not solve it consciously blindly instinctively he gave the child to the nurse and turned his attention to susan morgan who now lay collapsed so now being a doctor when he saw that the child is born still it is not moving it is lifeless and the condition is there that he when mother needs attention at that time he thought whether i should give it a try to resuscitate the baby like it is a process in which you know when the uh, a child you know there are a lot of things and mucus is there and sometimes into the nostrils it enters sometimes through the you know that a lot of complications are there sometimes there is lack of oxygen uh, to the baby which is not reaching the baby and after that baby's need attention at immediate attention but the baby was still born and he was thinking should i give it a try to you know that method of uh, medical profession you can search that he must give it a try to save the baby or he should try to revive maybe is sometimes something got stuck into the passage you know the breathing system is stopped and or whether but then he found that the baby is still born but mother is there if i'll keep on attempting to you know make that baby alive or trying that process of resuscitation what will happen to the mother so he thought i should firstly attend the mother i should save mother's life first so being the doctor within seconds you have to take decision so he handed over the still born baby to the midwife and then he continued to save the life of the mother yeah and susan morgan is the name of mrs morgan fine she was now susan morgan now she lay collapsed almost pulseless not yet out of the ether upon her side his haste was desperate a frantic race against her ebbing strength ebbing strength his, his strength you know was getting low and low because Uh, already he was exhausted but now he was recollecting and giving his 100% to 
फ्रेंटिक रेस अ मैडनेस आप देखो एक तरफ से वो थका हुआ है लेकिन उसका जो एनर्जी लेवल है दैट इज हाई बिकॉज एज अ डॉक्टर ही हैज टू सेव द लाइफ ऑफ दैट लेडी इट टू कम ओनली एन इंस्टेंट टू स्मैश अ ग्लास एम्पुल and inject the medicine within seconds he you breaks that you know medicine and put it in the injection and inject in the veins of that lady then he plunged down the hypodermic syringe and worked unsparingly to restore the flaccid woman that woman she was about to die you know she was like losing her uh, nerve was not able to be found and he just searched for the syringe and the medicine and he injected after a few minutes of feverish efforts that was a so frantic and so fast effort her heart strengthens you know so he put in uh, one injection into her body and her heart started working properly he saw that he might safely leave her he swung around in his shirt sleeves his hair sticking to his damp bro where is the child that was the question he handed over the child to that lady standing nearby the, the midwife the midwife and you know in that because he was so uh, obsessed with the saving that mother mrs susan morgan and he saved the life of the mother after giving injection and when he checked that okay pulse is fine heart is working now i can leave the patient though she is unconscious now i have to look forward to that still born child oh my god the child was nowhere to be found he asked the midwife where is the child i just handed over the child to you only and you know that what was the blunder the midwife made a frightened gesture she had placed it beneath the bed you know doctor thought of uh, planning something that i will try to you know check that uh, breath and all that stuff she had placed it beneath the bed usko laga ye to dead body hai i have to throw it under the bed only in a flash in a flash because in a second and you knelt down when it took a fishing among us the sudden Sodden newspapers below the bed. He pulled out the child. Now, see, all newspaper gire hue, all saman, whatever was required for the birth. He kept on searching, and he found the child. He pulled out the child with a frantic mood. A boy, perfectly formed, perfectly beautiful boy it was. The limp, warm body was white and soft as tallow. The cord, hastily slashed, lay like a broken stem. the skin was a lovely texture smooth and tender the head lolled on the thin neck the limbs seemed boneless you know that when a baby is born firstly they check the color of the skin if it is turning bluish it means lack of oxygen if it is turning whitish it means it's not getting you know blood circulation is not going on it has to be reddish and pinkish in color as per the medical sciences they check it fine because when baby is uh, you can say it takes birth it has to be pinkish in color reddish in color so that the blood circulation is going on that is a good sign and baby has to cry also you know this is important at that time so there are some facts there are some facts and when he checked it you know baby didn't cry because it was still born and but body was white only it was not pink or it was not uh, you know reddish in color so he was scared but it was a beautiful baby boy perfectly formed cord was still you know and his head lolled like a gira hua tha ek side pe means it was not moving or you know uh, it was very difficult for the doctor what to do now so let's see still kneeling and rio stared at the child with a haggard frown See, बेटा स्क्रीन विजिबल है ना सबको सो इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर इट इज यूर लाइकिंग इट समथिंग इज हैपनिंग हियर विद माई पी सी आई एम ट्राइंग लेट मी डू दिस yes still he was kneeling down and drew stared at the child with a haggard frown usko gussa bhi aaya hua hai the whiteness meant only one thing see this is the medical term you can search sphexia pallida and his mind unnaturally tense raced back to a case he once had seen in samaritan to the treatment that he had used you know it it is the experience which helps you during this time so he had one case 
in the past as an assistant when he worked with another doctor. So it means asphyxia pallida. What do you mean by asphyxia pallida? Beta, niche diya hua aapki book mein. See, suffocation or unconscious condition caused by lack of oxygen and excess of carbon dioxide in the blood accompanied by paleness of the skin, weak pulse, loss of reflexes. Search karna aaj, theek hai? It will be uh, added to your knowledge. And usko yaad aaye, damse, this is the condition of asphyxia parida. The child is not getting uh, oxygen, uh, more uh, carbon dioxide and less oxygen. And naturally, tense, he raised back to a case he once he had seen the Samaritan and to the treatment he had been used. Usko ekdam se yaad aaye, instantly he was on his feet. Yes, I have done this. Get me hot water and cold water. Immediately, he threw out to the nurse. And basins too, quick, quick, quick. So he was just calling and giving instructions to the nurse. Basins leke aao, paani leke aao, chuna, wo jo, usko tub ben all chahiye, uske liye. But doctor, she faltered her eyes on the pallid body of the child. Pallid is like, just not having life. So wo kehti, but doctor, kita, be quick, he shouted. Usne usko nahi suna. The lady wanted to say, why you're trying to save the dead child? He shouted, quick. Snatching a blanket, he laid the child upon it and began the special method of respiration. So then he recalled that method of respiration. Basins arrived, ewer, ewer jo pots hote hain, the big iron kettle. Frantically, he splashed cold water onto one basin, into the other he mixed water as hot as his hand could bear. Means lukewarm water or jitna hamari body bear kar sakti hai, that temperature, cold and hot. You know, this is the way he started putting, just like the crazy juggler, he hurried the child between the two. Now plunging it into the icy, now into the steaming bath. This is a process in which, you know, our body responds to the temperature of the water. You know, these days we are uh, taking baths from new foam water and all. Our body responds accordingly. So he had seen this case in previous history. He started putting the baby in the cold water and lukewarm water in the cold water and then Again, steam bath uh, water. So with this, he's going to uh, do something. Let's see what else he can do. So after this process, 15 minutes passed. He kept on doing sweat, was now running into Andrew's eyes, blinding him. One of his sleeves hung down, dripping. His breath came pantingly. He's so fast. He was breathing heavily, but no breath came from the lax body of the child. Lax means statue. Body mein, there is no response at all, even after struggling for 15 minutes. A desperate sense of defeat pressed on him, a raging hopelessness. He felt the midwife watching him in stark concentration while they pressed back against the wall where she had all the time remained her hand pressed to her throat. Uttering no sound, her eyes burning upon him was the old woman. And he remembered her longing for a grandchild as great as had been her daughter's longing for this child. All dashed away now, futile, beyond remedy. So this lady, that elderly lady, 70-year-old lady, the grandmother of the child, she was like stuck. She was startled. She was shocked looking at this process. And without uttering a word, she also needed this grandchild. Even she had been waiting for this moment since years. And the moment comes in front of her. She's the only eyewitness from the Morgan's family who's watching this. Because Mrs. Joe Morgan, she's unconscious. Mr. Joe Morgan, he's waiting outside. And mother is the only eyewitness who is watching this heart-wrenching scene. And seeing that baby dying in front of her was very terrible. The old woman, he remembered her longing for a child. You know, the floor was now a dragged, draggled mess. Pura mess ho chuka floor pe. Pani gira hua hai, newspapers and stumbling over a souping towel. Andrew almost dropped that child. Wo itna paglo ki tera work kar tha. He was like so in a frantic mode as if he will drop the child, which was now wet and slippery in his hand, just like a strange white fish. For mercy's sake, doctor, whimpered the midwife, it's a stillborn. Then that midwife spoke. It's a lifeless child, doctor. What are you doing? Andrew did not heed her. He did not pay attention. Beaten, despairing, having labored in vain for half an hour, he still persisted in one last effort. The doctor said, let me give it a try for one more time. 
He rubbed the child with a rough towel, crushing and releasing the little chest with both his hands, trying to get breath into that limp body. You know that, you know, the respiration system, then they press the chest, chest and then as by a miracle, the pygmy chest, pygmy means very small chest, which his hands and closed gave a short convulsive heave. There was a movement that convulsive heave came out of it. And then came another heave. Thoda sa aur sans aaya. Andrew turned giddy. Almost he was about to faint. The sense of life springing beneath his fingers after all that unavailing striving was so exuicide. It almost made him faint. Usko yakin nahi hua. He made it a last try. He was pressing the small chest of the baby. Aur usme se thoda mucus nikla. Usme se thoda sans aaya. He redoubled his efforts feverishly. He, you know, Tripled and four times more he put in effort. Child was gasping now. Finally, the child had that breath deeper and deeper. It was gasping. Usko saans nahi aara tha. A bubble of mucus came from one of his tiny nostrils. Uski naak mein mucus first chuka tha. One of the nostrils, you know, showed that sign mucus came out. A joyful, iridescent bubble. Why? See, wo jo uski naak se mucus nikla, us bubble ko wo joyful. Kyunki they have been waiting for this thing. Joyful bubble usko bola gaya. It is an adjective used for a thing. The limbs were no longer boneless. The head no longer lay back spinelessly. The blanched skin was slowly turning pink. Then exquisitely came the child's cry. Dear father in heaven. The nurse sobbed hysterically. It has come. It has come alive. You can very well imagine. What will be the condition of the... Uh, parents at that time or uh, maybe sabse zyada kaun affected hua yahan pe the doctor who did not you know this is the you can say god will help you when you are ready to help yourself first so doctor was adamant he was stubborn at this time he wanted to give it a last try and by god's sake you know sometimes for minutes even our body seems to be aapne bahut sare kisse padhe honge that person was dead then later came to be alive sometimes you know breathing system had some problems and for few minutes also it it shows that person is dead or so mucus get stuck nostrils mein so she kaise karke kyunki he uh, you know put that body into the movement by putting it into hot and cold water so that was the method of medically proved method which he tried and saved the life of that baby and everyone like there was startled and midwife started crying like anything she was shocked to see what the doctor had done so finally he saved the life uh do we have time now so we can continue i guess bell hone wali hai let's see how long we can feed it Dear father in heaven, the nurse sobbed hysterically. It's come, it has come alive. Andrew handed. Okay, bell ho chuki hai, beta. So we will continue this chapter tomorrow. I hope everything is clear to you all. Okay, Dilji, do give that message to Jodhpreet. Okay, what she's supposed to do? She's supposed to submit her project to Madam Mamarji. Please convey this message to her. I will also ask her, but she's not uh, there in the any of the classes today. Okay beta have a nice day